sound, a group of vibrant. From the beginner to the professional, from the novice to the master, from playing and experimenting with things to create a masterpiece. These are all the elements of art. And on this show, Sounds Within, the art is sound. Hi, I'm L.V. Smith, host of that show called Sounds Within. Hey, I've been blessed to have some phenomenal guests, but you hear all this trash about Meta or Facebook, I don't care what it's called, with all this mess going around. But that's how I met this guy, Brian Skinner. I mean, he just came on the show and stuck his face at the camera and says, you got to play every dad burn day. And then lo and behold, it, uh, we became friends. And I just said, that, that chance, I asked him, would you come and do a show with me? He says, I'd be glad to, man. I'd be right there. And I says, oh, we got him now. We have Brian Skinner in the house. Say hello to the audience, Brian. Hey there. How's everything? I'm so honored to be here. Thank you, LV, for asking. And I, I'm very excited to be here. Come on, I wasn't asking. I, I was downright begging, man. I, I, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. I, I'm so grateful to have this man on there. I mean, one of the nicest people and monster musician. All these monster musicians are quite real people. You can talk with them and they don't have an ego. I mean, but Brad Skinner, you are it. You motivated me. As a matter of fact, you the one that got me going on that upright with that line. Gotta play every dag burn day. You gotta play every dag burn day. Absolutely. So let's get on with this show here. Let me start off with you. What makes Brian Skinner, Brian Skinner? Man, I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm motivated by just encouraging others is, uh, one of the things that, that makes me who I am. I have a, a, a wonderful life. I have a, a beautiful wife and two kids and, uh, they make me who I am. Uh, I'm pretty much what you see is what you get. I'm just a country boy. <laughs> I live in San Ramon, California, but I was raised in central California. A lot of people ask me, where are you from, man? I'm like, central California, where'd that accent come from? Well, I have a lot of family from back East and the South and I hang out with them every once in a while. And that's why I got what I have, but that's kind of uh, what makes me who I am. I spent a lot of time in uh, church when I was young. That's where I got my roots. My musical roots started eight years old on a congas, 10 years old on a guitar. And uh, then at 12, my dad was playing bass guitar and I switched over and started playing bass and he started playing guitar. And musically, that's where the journey began. Uh, have a family full of singers. And uh, that's kind of my, what has made me who I am today. That's probably- Okay, let's dig it. deeper. Let's dig Lay deeper. Lay it on me. That. Since, since this show is called Sounds Within, yeah, I want you to think far back in your memory bank, as far as you can, and think what was the very first sound you ever recognized in your life? It's a toss up. It's a toss up between a softball hitting a catcher's glove and my mom singing. So that's it. My father was a fast pitch softball pitcher and, uh, I remember from a really young age that pop, that's kind of a, one of the, probably the first sound that I remember hearing that outside of my mom singing was a pop of a softball glove. That was it. I started, he was, he was pitching way before I was around. And uh, so, yeah, that, I remember that exclusively. It's funny because really? somebody asked me once, who was the first person you remember? And it was my, my father was a pitcher and the, the catcher's son and daughter were always at every softball game. And I'm like, those are the first people I remember outside of my family. And mm. uh, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. Okay. You kind of leaked 
in the beginning on the first question, but let's explore it better. The third question, what was the very first time that motivated you to pursue your instruments? Um, wow. The first sound? Yes, sir. What was the first sound that motivated you to do what you do musically? My brother was a huge 50s music fan. And the first sound is actually my favorite musician also. And uh, he played Chuck Berry, Johnny B. Good, when I was a kid, a lot. And that's the first sound where I said, I want to learn how to do that right there. And that morphed into playing the bass because I found out I could make people's heads move and butt shake and that kind of thing when I played the bass. But I would say probably Chuck Berry's opening line to to Johnny Be Good that that's probably the first sound that I heard that really sent it sent it rolling. Well, you know what? It may not Chuck Berry may not be recognized by some as the king of rock and roll, but he is the father <laughs> of rock and roll. <laughs> yeah. Without ever getting it. The For rest sure. is all puppy cut. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's let's hear something from you. What are you gonna offer us? How about a uh, little jam on the guitar? Hey, I love it. Hey, friends, check out Brian Skinner on guitar as he offers you his famous title. So yeah, that's uh, this is Brian. You got to play every Dagburn day. That's how I. That's how I introduce myself almost every time on uh, social media. This is one of my jams that I do. to play every dag burn day i'm brian skinner you're watching the arroyo channel my poetry is about viewing the world as i saw it as a young man and down through the ages i continued to write verse i used that as a creative expression but it also helped me through life because i could address certain issues certain feelings and certain appreciations. I'm a retired school psychologist and helping people was my thing. After my stroke, 
When Meals on Wheels started, I was on the other end of the stick, so to speak. And uh, suddenly I realized I was there where those other people were. <laughs> My name is Julius Gaines, creative writer, poet, photographer. America, let's do lunch. One in six seniors faces the threat of hunger, and millions more live in isolation. Drop off a hot meal and say a quick hello. Volunteer by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. Woo! I'm Brian Skinner. You're watching L.V. Smith and Sounds Within. Hey, folks, if you're thinking of playing, you better follow his advice. You can play every dad bird day. I be. Ever since I met this guy, he was upright. I make a point. I'll never be like him. I won't be an Esperanza Spalding or whomever, but I do tr make sure I get a chance to play every day, every day. Brian, that was inspirational. That was killer, man. That was absolute killer. Now, um, what are some things you do to motivate you to get where you are now? Man, uh, I think... Uh, I started turning my focus from myself and out that way towards others and uh, really started trying to motivate. I'm trying to do what I did to you, trying to motivate people to play, trying to motivate people to write. And uh, uh, that was, that's huge. Um, spent a lot of time in, in wild land, fire i was a firefighter wildland firefighter for 17 years and i uh saw a lot of stuff and um i one of the reasons why i try to motivate people to write and do something artistic write draw whittle whatever you're gonna do is uh it it's healing and it, it can really make you instantly feel better or in five minutes feel better if you're not feeling well or going through something and uh totally forgot your question but this is where i've gotten to now <laughs> a major motivator you are i mean seriously appreciate i was on upright uh learning from my present bass teacher mm -hmm. and he does not play a fretless or an upright maybe he had in high school days and stuff but he's a must like that but he told me, he, he told me, I want you to learn a Miles Davis tune and I want you to play fretless. <laughs> and I go like, ah! Oh. There you go, no pressure, nothing. <laughs> no pressure. And so as I was going through it, I started to feel it and I go, your words came back to me. So just feel, let go. I go, okay, I won't be who that killer is on bass, but I feel it. Yeah. Thank you for that. That's the Now it's back thing. to you. That's the main thing. If you can what you're doing if you can feel it i do a lot of posting facebook posting and other postings where i'm i'm woodshedding actually i'm not i'm not performing i'm just i'm working out and uh a lot of mistakes there's a lot of mistakes in what i just played there'll be a lot of mistakes in what i continue to play and uh what i'll be playing later and i hear some folks might hear them but i do it because what happens is is you get out and you perform out there and what they see, what the, the public sees is a performance that's really polished and well. They don't see the woodshed that goes on behind scenes. And I try to get everybody, I'd say, man, when you're practicing someday, just turn on the video camera and video it and stick it out there for the world to see what it's like to go through the, those things, <laughs> the tweaks and the blah, and the, you know, the, the notes that aren't right over and over and over again until all of a sudden they're right and they're smooth and then all of a sudden it's got a groove in it that's got the freight train going or something you know and then pretty soon it's like oh man i gotta play this for the next six hours where it just hurt to play five minutes ago yes and uh who are some of your mentors that motivated you to do this man so on the the big time scale everybody talks a lot about all of the big time bass players and guitar players and what have you. And I mentioned Chuck Berry earlier. Chuck Berry is one of my mentors. Like, I'm not personally, but he was a mentor. I've had the opportunity to play with some phenomenal 
musicians in my playing, by, uh, some by luck, some by ability, uh, some by chance. And uh, is it okay if I mention a couple? Please. Okay. Uh, I started off in church. There was this guy, two guys. One, a guy, Leroy Swanson, had the smoothest fingers like Carlos Santana I've ever heard in my life. At, at 10 years old, I could tell this guy was different player than any stuff I was hearing from coming out of my bedroom or my brother's room. His name is Leroy Swanson. Uh, he passed away when I was young, at a young age, in a boating accident and a really sad day. Uh, him and another guy named Danny Marino, who I think was wound up being um, uh, uh, Santana's guitar tech, actually. He's a phenomenal player. Got to play with him when I was a kid, like a little kid. I'm, actually, I've played with him when I was playing congas, and he shot me a lot, told me a lot about bongos and congas and stuff. Um, went from him to, uh, after graduating from high school, I played with a cat named Tim Stewart, who's a guitar player, who now is Lady Gaga's guitar player. He's one of the two that she uses. And this cat was, he's the best there is, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, then Ron Thompson, I was a Ron Thompson resistor for a couple of years. I played with him once a week down in San Jose and got fired every night. <laughs> Came back the next week and put my stuff together. And he was like, get up there. And uh, most educational thing I've ever done, but but I've had the opportunity to play with some real phenomenal musicians. But the people that mentor me aren't always the greatest players. They're people like yourself. When I hear you play, I listen, I look, I watch, and then I plagiarize. And when I say plagiarize, I mean I try to take one thing from every person that I hear, no matter what their level is or their skill level is, somebody can teach you something. My favorite guitar player on the planet is a girl that lives in Castro Valley. She knows three chords and the way she strums, nobody else can strum like this girl. She just, it's a natural thing. That's just the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. And she's one of my mentors. So I have a ton of mentors. Uh, I play with a cat named Jack Quigley right now, regularly. You'd love him. He's full of soul. He's an older cat. And when I say older, he's probably gonna kill me for saying that, but he's, he's older than me. And he teaches a lot as you play about the conversation in music. When we're playing together, am I listening or am I talking with my instrument? And I need wow. to be listening when it's my turn to talk, then it's my turn to talk, talk out loud, yell it out to the streets. But when it's time to listen and play, then he's talking or somebody else is talking. You sit back and you listen. And it's the most wonderful thing. A musical conversation, he calls it. That is phenomenal. Let's hear something from you. Do something a little more funk or something. What are you going to offer us? How about a little funk on the electric? Funk on the electric. Funk, a little funk on Bass the electric. guitar, that is, folks. Yeah, we love to hear that. All Give right. It a shot. Here we go with Brian Skinner on his uh, Fender bass. Take it away, Brian. This is Brian Skinner. You got to play every dag burn day. If you play every dag burn day, you get dag burn better. That's how I believe. Thank you. 
got to play every dag burn day. I'm Brian Skinner. You're watching the Arroyo Channel. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. This is David, this is Teresa, and this is Elias. Um, next time I'm watching the Royal Channel, I'll be sure to watch Anybody Can Play Guitar. Woo! I'm Brian Skinner. You're watching L.V. Smith and Sounds Within. Man, Funk and Jugs. That's not the name of that song, folks. This is a show, actually. And uh, something to do, even if it's not music, you better paint every day, whatever what this man is saying. Words of wisdom. I can't get enough of it. So, Brian, welcome back. Thank you for that offering of you got I gotta get into more funk, folks. I just got it. That and jazz. You're gonna call, have to talk. Go ahead. I, I call that country bumpkin funk, actually. That's not straight funk. I don't really play straight funk. I just play a little country bumpkin funk. It's got a little country bumpkin in it. One of these days, I'll, I'll show you where the root of that is. And uh, we'll go from there. Go ahead. Funk sorry. Is, funk, don't be sorry. <laughs> Do not be ashamed, brother. Oh, yeah. Funk no, I'm not. Yeah. Funk. funk is funk. Be it a country bunk it on in the hood or they got... out there in the snow. It doesn't matter. Funk is funk. You can feel funk it and groove it. Funk is funk. And you got funk, brother. You Appreciate it. You are a funk master. Oh, man. Well. We're at that part of the show because we have this demon called time. Time does not have too many heroes here. But uh, what are some of your future plans? Well, I'm sitting in a, a studio in my garage that I've put together. I just literally ran a wire underneath my house today so I can get some good internet service to you. And uh, I want to try to, I'm not an engineer, so um, I, I want to lay, keep laying down ideas. I write every day. I write something. I try to write a lot of crazy songs and get people smiling, zooming in your underwear, goofing around with ch chicken and cooking and kitchen and whatever. But uh, what my future plans are to put this to use. And uh, I want to spend a lot of time uh, recording stems for folks i've been doing that and people send me songs and i'll put i'll record stems bass stems or guitar or vocal whatever you want and um that kind of thing and then playing i want to continue to play um i'm realizing i have a little arthritis in my fingers I'm, I'm not a youngster and uh i don't know for how much longer i'm gonna get to play the big girl behind me so i want to try to play her as much as possible uh at, that's a, a huge thing and then continue to motivate and encourage that's really what i want to do i'd love to just sit and motivate and encourage all day long if that's kind of really what if everybody would consider that and try it and work on it it would really change your life it's really fun to hear somebody say hey i play more every day like yourself because of something i saw you do or heard you say or whatever and uh, that's really what I want to do right there is encourage and motivate. You're doing it, brother. I want to smack your hands, though, as far as just talking about, quote, getting old. I got you uh, there at least a decade plus, man. So Maybe. I don't, I don't know. We'll that. see. <laughs> no, no, no. Seriously. It's so like, as far as time, people just say, well, you're going to live. I said, you don't have no idea how long I'm going to live. Yeah. Do I? And I, I just, each day I could grab an instrument. It's a blessing. Yeah. Thanks to you. Yeah, I, 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 that. I treasure it even more now. If you're able to do something you enjoy, treasure it because one day it's taken away. Now, mm -hmm. what are your words of wisdom? Man, you are full of wisdom. What are your words of wisdom to the future Brian Skinners? To the future Brian Skinners, man, listen, this is something that I've, I've learned uh, a little bit about over the last few years, actually, I, I spent a lot of time just going full blast and head first and uh, not listening, not listening to my body, not listening with my ears. 
not listening with my heart, not listening. And um, I've really spent some time trying to listen more. And um, what is it that is being put out there? Um, listen. And man, I think the future Brian Skinner out there, woof, if they're future Brian Skinners, slow down and listen would be the biggest thing. And encourage i mean like i say it a hundred times i'll say it a hundred more encourage somebody to do something i say play every day burn day but i also mean whittle whistle clap smile do your yoga every whatever it is that you do that is your art for sure make sure you do that and give it away that's the other thing don't that is don't be selfish with it give it away give away your art show people what it is that you do and show them how to do it if you can and try to make folks better better musicians better people i'm not always the best person if you see me on the freeway if sometimes it gets a little <laughs> dicey but uh i continue i will continue to work on that beautiful other beautiful also. fantastic brian how can we get in contact with you well, I'm working on a website right now. It's not done. It's going to be Brian Skinner Music, basically. If you look up Brian Skinner Music, uh, TikTok, I've been doing, you got to play every day is on TikTok. Not every day, because I, some days I got, I don't have time to get them in there. But uh, Facebook, Brian Skinner Music is another way to catch me. Uh, I if you want to email me, I'd love to hear from you. My email is Fender Pro Bass just like it sounds, 1964, Fender Pro Bass, 1964 at gmail.com. If you want to talk about stems or talk about music or send me your phone number, and just talk. That's fine too. I do that pretty well and uh, that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, that's that's probably the best way to get a hold of me. The, hopefully the website will be up within the next couple months. Fabulous. Fabulous. Brian, please come back. Please. I can't wait to come back. You heard it, folks. I may not He's leave. Coming back. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. We can have the Brian, the Brian and L.B. Smith show. That, that I have there you go. That. Well, what are you going to offer us on the way out? How about a little upright bass? What I do normally, just hanging out. I do love a hanging out. All right, I love it. Jamming on the upright bass. Love it, folks. We are blessed to have Brian Skinner here, and we're going to have him back again. Do tune in again to, for another edition of L. D. Smith's Sounds Within. Till we see you then, peace out. This is Brian Skinner. You're going to play every dag burn day. I got to pull this off just a little bit.
once in a while. Come through. How'd yeah. it go? You've got to play every dag burn day. I'm Brian Skinner. You're watching the Arroyo Channel.